Ukraine has been at war with Russia for eight years. But what we are seeing now is a massive escalation, is a full-blown invasion of Ukraine to change the regime. Russia's invasion of Ukraine has been met with an incredibly strong response from the Biden administration. The sanctions we opposed exceed anything that's ever been done. The sanctions we imposed have generated two thirds of the world joining us. They are profound sanctions. The purpose of sanctions now is to impose costs on the Kremlin. Invading a country, invading a democratic country, has to come with costs. Since 2014, it is clear that sanctions have had a real impact on the Russian economy and have limited Russia's ability to spend lavishly on its military. And so over time, Vladimir Putin is going to have to make tough budgetary choices between investing in his military or investing in his people. So we are seeing the impact of sanctions right now. Vladimir Putin's war has caused the Russian ruble, which is the Russian currency, to plummet to, to lows that we've never seen before. The Russian stock market is, is crashing, and that is going to degrade Russia's ability to invest in its military, and it's just going to make Russia a weaker state. So what we can see from the United States, from Europe, and our allies and partners around the world are continuing sanctions. I think those sanctions are going to escalate. The fact is this war, this invasion, is not going to be judged by the next weeks or months. It's going to be judged in years. And what's key is to put pressure on Russia now and to sustain that pressure over the coming years. The world has to stand up and act strongly, has to sanction Russia, has to isolate it globally and diplomatically. It is critical that this invasion of Ukraine be a defeat for Vladimir Putin.